Futures trading involves risk and is not suitable for all investors. Content provided in this segment is meant for educational purposes and is not a solicitation to buy or sell commodities. All right, welcome back to Rice Dairy Tech Talk. I am Cody, and with me as always, Mr. Andy Fallman. Welcome, Andy. How's it going? You'll notice a little something different about Andy today. He just got done taking his Chartered Market Technician test, numero dos. Numero dos. That's why he has the uh, the wizard hat Wizard on. hat. And he's the market wizard of the industry. And you notice I have no hair, so it's been a while since we talked to you guys. Just going to catch you up on uh, on markets and what's going on. So today we are going to start with uh, some, some Class 4 uh, spot butter roll into the class four portion and then kind of hit on some dry whey cheese and finally January class three a little bit of Jan uh, okay so you start you starting us off here uh, weekly spot butter um, first thing I noticed and I already wrote it down here potential inside day out um, clearly a downtrend has been in effect here for a while this is a weekly spot butter um, and I, I wrote potential inside day out because of the two candles that we had last week and the week prior Inside day out is basically you have you know this big red candle here and then an opposite candle, in this case green, that's all inside within that range, right? And so the low and the high were both within the range of the previous week's candle. And then afterwards, afterwards, you opened higher than that first day. Now, again, still have another, you know, this is a weekly candle. You still have a whole week's worth of trade uh, after today. Um, but that that formation right there, again, you had you had the open higher from this day's high that was inside, or the, basically the, the previous week was inside that bar. Um, that is a pretty strong reversal signal. Um, so I put that out there just just again, been in a pretty steady downtrend here for a while. Uh, class four has since flipped over class three in terms of, you know, this is now premium. For the longest time, class three was well premium to class four. Now that's not the case anymore. And, you know, lo and behold, we also have what is a pretty strong reversal formation starting to take shape. And so if this does hold, you know, obviously you have this downtrend you'd have to contend with, but also too, I'd be looking at that area too of call it 216, 220 butter. It's a lofty number here from now, but it's also a number we've, you know, spent a lot of time in for, for um, pretty much all of 2018, right? And so uh, that would be kind of my target for butter here, um, getting back in the two teens. But yeah, I'm looking at this, uh, this formation here is a potential reversal. So 216 being your, your potential target space, you see that happening in the next week, two weeks, maybe New Year, right? Yeah, I mean, I'd be more like end of Jan. Okay. You know, you need this, again, weekly chart. You need you need to get through this area first um, and then go from there. It could be a grind, but I, I look at that those three candles there, the last two, and then the way we opened this week as potential reversal as an inside day out. Okay. Um, so butter leading into class four? Butter leading into class four. <laughs> You know, everybody, you know, all eyes obviously lately have been on class three, but, you know, we started with class four because it's been in this, this is Jan to June. Um, we obviously started pricing Jan here, but, you know, I still wanted to include it because there's plenty of time left in January pricing, obviously. Um, this has been in a really nice, steady uptrend for a while now. And you had, you know, a couple, you know, this where it just kind of took off from here. Mm -hmm. It's held this, this uptrend for some time. Um, and it's also doing an, a really nice kind of retracement here. I think what it ends up doing is you're gonna get the butter that starts to take off a little bit. I think powder is gonna, can hold. And really all you do is just continue to bounce. And I think that would actually be stronger for this chart for it too to go test here and then you know continue on rather than just gonna go straight up from here. So I, I look at this chart and I say it's got a lot of potential to just continue to grind higher. Um, you know, point of fact, I've actually been asking folks to be considering, you know, either taking ownership here in some fashion or, you know, if you're a producer, getting out of futures and buying puts or something to that effect. But I like the way this chart looks. I think it's got a lot of long-term potential to it. Uh, in fact, our friend, uh, Bases Loaded Joe, Fibonacci Joe, Fibonacci Joe, was talking about actually... Um, an Elliott wave, I think, with you the other day. It was, yeah. And for those unfamiliar with what an Elliott wave theory is, is that you typically have, you know, five waves in a move. Um, I think he's spot on. If you want to put that into Janet June class four, I think we're beginning to see, you know, the the, the building of, a, of what will be a third wave, which is typically the longest of the five. And so that's where I feel like Janet June class four is going. Um, you know, switch it into some, some of the class three products, class three other side, side of the coin, kind of getting beat up. So this is Jan to March away. Um, 
you know, obviously aggressively moved higher and completely rejected it. Yeah. Um, sticks out to me about that is if you actually, let's just do that real fast. If you draw that line right there, that's a clear breakout. Um, and again, that breakout's coming after you do that move, right? And so, you know, now you're kind of back into this whole channel that we drew. Um, you know, they've been beating up spot way. It's kind of hanging around here. But, you know, you want to always keep keep a premium here. It seems like it wants to be premium just it, when spot's over a little over 30 cents. So I'm looking at for it to get back down in this high 34, you know, 32, 34 range. But, you know, this is, I think, one of the uglier ones here again. Um, you know, pretty clear rejection of 40 cents. And now you've broken that support. I think you take it right back down in those lows. So kind of banging away between 34 and 36 is where you kind of see mm -hmm. us fluctuating mm -hmm. in between. Yeah, and, and to put it in perspective too, I mean, you know, six cents in, or excuse me, one penny in class three, or one penny in way, uh, six cents in class three. You know, let's say we go from 37.75 down to 34, so call it about roughly three cents. It's another 18 cents in class three, 18, yeah. 20 cents out of the January March futures pack. And um, that has certainly been on the move lately. And yeah. obviously the main reason for that has been, so this is CME Cheese Weekly. Yeah. Uh, obviously, last week, a lot of that weakness came out of the barrel. I think it was down about 56 cents. Yep. Um, probably one of the biggest barrel moves we've seen in a single week. Uh, this And today, you know, opened up with another weak barrel session down about eight and eight and a half. Yep. Blocks followed suit a little bit, not not to the same degree. But, you know, you open with a pretty strong gap there that, you know, if we start taking the block down to where the barrel it roughly is, you know, now you're starting talking about back into here. Um, I look at this chart and say it, could just, it can continue to be a more or less a free fall until we kind of get into where there was a lot of congestion in here. Now you're talking sub 160. Right. It's the end of the year, um, you know, and, and you're going into a seasonal slowdown, obviously, of production or of um, purchasing. And you're also coming off some pretty you know, strong high, pr high prices here. I would imagine a lot of cheese is being produced, obviously. Right. And so I think there's you know, some room to, to go test this little area of congestion. It's a pretty wicked fall from 220 to, to 150 where you got the, mm -hmm. the congestion drawn yeah. here. And, you know, it just today or really last week and then today confirming it. But this uptrend really started in the start of the year, right? Yep. And now, it, you know, you had this nice uptrend that spent all year building. And last week and then today confirmed, a, you know, pretty nasty breakout. Yep. So, you know, where does that go? Again, um, I'm looking for somewhere kind of in this range to start running into some traffic out of buyers. And, you know, if you're a buyer, hey, you're buying cheese at a 220 average, you know, uh, call it a month, month and a half later. Let's say we get down there, you're buying it at a buck 50 average. I think you'll start to see that. But um, for now, it uh, feels like you could probably get some more out of this chart to the downside. And then I think we saved. Last but not least. I don't least, know if you want to say the, called uh, the best for last. But, ee, the nastiest um, for last. For sure. Wow. Yeah, January class three. Um, you know, got up to, it's had quite a bit of volatility and it actually just started pricing today. So still plenty of room for volatility. It is a five week month, uh, came off 19 bucks and is making a quick trip down to 17 bucks here. Uh, that's two bucks lower, but you know, you want to keep it in perspective here too. If you take January way price of 35.30, I've got current cash at roughly 1610. Now 1610, that doesn't include any premiums that you'd put in the NDPSR. Right, and so you want to keep that in mind. But if you just want to go off of, if you just want to go off of cheese and where way futures are, yeah. this is current cash. Talking a three dollar drop from nineteen to sixteen, yeah. pretty fast. Pretty quick. Yeah. Um, obviously, I, I think there's going to be premiums here, right? I think you have to expect that there's going to be some decent premiums. But you know, where does I, I don't think you really start to see that until the cash market starts to round out. That could be tomorrow. Um, who knows? But I think this chart is now. You know, you've broken through here. Um, you obviously broke these two major support lines. Seems like the next place is going to be 1675 to go test, 17 bucks. Yeah, I was going to say you, you had this kind of ascending triangle here. Actually, let me start over. So you had this ascending, right? And it it led to quite the move higher. Um, you know, I think that that range in that area is going to become a magnet. And so the first stop would be 17 bucks. Next thing you know, it's kind of being, I, I think you get somewhere into there between $17 and 16 and a half, assuming cash holds at the $16 area. Yeah. You, you knock another six, seven cents off the block market. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that's another call at 35, 40 cents in class three. Now you're in a 15 handle, you know, maybe you take that range down another 25 cents. But 
Um, that's kind of the area where I feel like you're going to start to see, you know, candles like this, where you have these long wicks on the bottom and some covering. And um, but yeah, pretty nasty start to the pricing period. Yeah. So. I think 73 lower at one point. 73 lower, so almost yeah. touched limit, but didn't. But didn't. Yeah. Now, Cody mentioned it earlier. He has no hair anymore. I don't know if you ever noticed. But we did a little math on this. Something to keep in mind. This is roughly the time frame when Cody started growing hair. Cody started growing hair. It was August 20th. Okay. He cut his hair right here. Cody cuts hair. And we proceeded to I don't take know if it's a, a coincidence or not, but yeah. as soon as Cody started growing hair, we go from 1650 to about 19 bucks. And as soon as Cody started cutting his hair, and I can tell you there was a lot of talk about the, about him cutting his hair in and around that time frame. Dude, I think the dairy farmer getting, in me says I'm never cutting my hair again. He's, you're getting awfully excited between 19 and 18 half about cutting your hair. And then as soon as you do, we knock a buck off of class three. So yeah. those of you that were in on the bet or knew about the bet, just so everybody's aware, Two and a half dollar rally. Cody cuts, grows his hair out, cuts his hair. Dollar break. Take a dollar break pretty quick. So <laughs> two days. Um, yeah, I'm sure Cody's going to be rubbing some Rogaine on here tonight. We've uh, we got some decisions to make in the future. That's for sure. So yeah, until that comes, we appreciate you uh, jumping on with us again today. If you would punch the subscribe button, the little thumbs up in the bottom corner, mm -hmm. and uh, thank you for being with us, I Andy. Appreciate it, Cody. We will we'll put the hat back on next week and see what kind of damage we can get, get into some again. Some in his hair. Until then, we'll see you guys later. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching RDTV. If you enjoyed that, be sure to subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave us a comment below or send us an email. You can also follow Rice Dairy on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. See you next week.